it's been a long time guys it's been what two and a half nearly three years a lot has changed i've moved house twice i don't live in north yorkshire anymore and i live in suffolk i work with racehorses i'm working towards becoming a jockey i'm getting top surgery in three weeks i can drive now i'm 18 nearly 19 yeah a lot has fucking happened but this is about top surgery this i want to take you on my journey to get top surgery which is three weeks tomorrow so on i get top surgery on the 14th of march 2023 and i just want to take you along for the journey to be quite honest because I'm going to Istanbul uh, with transgender surgery by Nida and I'm going to there because one, it's a lot cheaper than in the UK and two, the waiting lists are nowhere near as long and I still haven't seen anyone from the VIC in this country and it's been four years. Um, so yeah. I'm spending three and a half grand in Istanbul to get surgery. So top surgery is my first step and then I'm going to think about what I want to do after that. So I'm going to show you the things that I've bought for top surgery. Right, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this. This is a bog standard travel pillow does up at the front because for the first couple of weeks I'll be sleeping either on my back or by sleeping south sat up and obviously that can get quite uncomfortable especially if you've not got anywhere to like lean your neck so obviously this will help a lot with supporting my neck making sure I don't get like bad neck pain and stuff because the job that I do, I get back pain quite often, so this will help, hopefully. The other thing, pillow-wise, that I, I didn't buy it because they were like 60 quid to buy, but I made myself one because it doesn't take much to make one. It's made out of cow material because I bought a cow to sew during lockdown and then never made it so here we go uh, so this bit goes on your chest and then that bit goes round and it like it'd be good for like driving and putting your seatbelt over um obviously i won't be driving my own car for a while but um obviously getting in other people's cars or going back to the airport from the hospital once i'm once I can go home, uh, I want something like this just in front of me to stop my chest from rubbing. And if we happen to like break sharply or anything, it's not going to affect my stitches or anything. Um, so yeah, it's got a little cow on it. I made a pocket because um, I can stick my phone in there or I can stick some medication in there. And then I don't have to move from my bed if I'm bed bound. Um, because obviously I don't know how I'm going to heal up. I don't know how much pain I'm going to be in. Um, so that's both my cushions. Then the next thing that I'm taking at the moment is just vitamins. Uh, because if I get ill before surgery, there's a chance that I could not have the surgery. Especially if I get like flu symptoms and stuff like that. It's just not good for them to go ahead with it. Um, so I'm taking vitamins once a day and um if i have any sign of a cold or anything and then taking <laughs> cold and flu max strength tablets um just to try and keep on top of my health um one of the most important things that i'm trying to do is uh cook all my meals from scratch eat veg daily make sure i'm putting enough in my body because i burn 2000 plus calories a day um make sure that 
I'm not losing too much weight, which I'm not doing great at. I was nine and a half stone at Christmas and now I'm seven stone ten. Um, but I'm trying to get on top of that and make sure I'm eating more and more and more um, to stop me from losing weight before surgery because obviously after surgery I'm going to lose muscle because I won't be doing much and at the moment I'm in the fittest physical state I've ever been in in my life. I've got a six pack, got some good arm muscles on me and got some good shoulders which I'm going to lose which I'll be quite disappointed about but once I get back to working and riding five horses a day, galloping in them, uh, it'll all come back and hopefully it will be grand. So the next thing that was actually recommended to me by another YouTuber um, is hay fever tablets. I got two lots because this one is, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. This one's got less um, mg, this one's got 10 mg, so they're both to help with itchiness because obviously when you're bandaged and you've got the adhesive on you um, and you can't take it off until your chest reveal so you're going to be a bit itchy, a bit sweaty, a bit sticky so you just take hay fever tablets, stop the itchiness and then obviously it will make it easier to bear for the next five, six days. Um, the next thing that I've got is silicone scar tape. Obviously I'm not going to use this immediately after surgery, but once they've healed enough, um, like maybe three or four weeks afterwards, I'll start using this. Um, I'm going to get myself some bio oil as well, I'm just trying to take out the package to show you. Um, I'm going to get myself some bio oil so that I can massage that into it as well. And I've also been recommended by my surgeon to use Vaseline. Um, so this is the scar tape. So it's literally just like a silicone strip. It's fairly like sticky. Um yeah so it like it's pr it's quite thin but the silicone in it helps to heal your skin better and um hopefully you should keep the scars quite flat and not raised um because that's an, i don't want raised scars to be quite honest i don't i wanted peri but i'm too big for peri so i'm gonna have scars um but if i can do whatever I can to make them as faded and as less noticeable as possible. Eventually, I, I probably will get them tattooed over. Um, but that's not in my funds at the moment, to be quite honest. Um, so another thing that I've got for all the medication that I'm going to be taking is Pillbox. Um, this wasn't bought specifically for top surgery, but um, it was given to me by one of my friends. Um, because I literally was forgetting whether I'd take my medication or not on a daily basis. Um, like I'd take my medication and two minutes later I'd be like, did I take my medication? And um, yeah, so this is quite helpful to be quite honest. Um, even though I've taken the wrong day. Another thing that I've got is an underworks binder. I bought it because my dysphoria was getting fucking shit. And um, I have like five different chest binders, but a lot of them are quite old and worn out and stretched. So I bought myself a new one a couple months ago. So this is my underworks. I'm wearing a GC2B at the moment. Um, but I've decided that I'm gonna keep this one for after surgery when I get back to riding horses so that I can put it on. Cause obviously you don't finish binding the moment you get top surgery. It, my surgeon, will give me a binder to wear for three weeks after top surgery and then after those three weeks I can then take that binder off start moving start exercising a bit more but um when I go back to riding race horses I want some sort of compression so I'm going to be wearing this um because it's an extra small it's an underworks tri-top model 983 I think 
and um, yeah, it would just help with some compression. And if I happen to like twinge anything, I'll feel a bit more secure because obviously I'll be on the top of a racehorse. So I'm not just going to be able to get off and be like, oh, can't do it, sorry. Um, I'll have to sort the horse out, like make sure the horse is under control, take it back to wherever and then possibly not ride for the rest of that day or the rest of that week. Um, I, I want to take it as slowly as possible, to be quite honest, because there's no point in me going back early and then splitting my stitches open because I'm pulling against a horse that's pulling me. And um, as a result, popping these stitches, because when you're pulling, that's what you, you're using your chest, you're using your arms and you're using your back mainly. Um, yes, you do use your legs a little bit, but not anywhere near as much as you use your upper body. Um, so I'm going to take at least, my surgeon's recommended at least six weeks off, six to eight weeks. So I will be taking at least six weeks off. Or I might take five weeks off and then come back and be on the ground in my job because I could just help like um, hay and water horses and turn horses out, put horses on and off the walker, um, rather than riding them and potentially injuring myself more than I need to. Um, but because I'm working towards being a jockey, um, I really need to get back on a horse as soon as I am fit to get back on a horse because I can't risk losing three months, four months of work because this time next year I want to take my amateur licence out so that's what I'm aiming for so hopefully I can get there so one of the last things other than like comfy, easy to put on shoes um, is the classic button down I've got what, one, two three i think i've got four or five of these um most of them are this color one of them's green um like khaki green no not. yeah khaki green um but yeah they're just for ease of not having to pull it over your head or anything um which is why i won't be using this immediately because i can't obviously i'm not going to be able to get fucking stuck and then pull it down um because I'll hurt but I will be able to have the one that they give me post-op which is literally just a wrap around and it velcros up I think um, and then eventually swap to this one when I come back to work um, so yeah I think that's all I've got to tell you to be quite honest um, I got myself a couple pairs of joggers I got myself some sliders some trainers that I can literally just slip my feet into um, not have to like bend down and pull it up and you know all that um, I got myself a metal straw as well because the potential that I might not be able to do this action so I've got a metal straw that just extends and then I can just hold it down here and drink um, and then other than that, that's about all I've got at the moment, to be quite honest. Um, I hope that was interesting and I hope that was informative. If you want any information on transgender surgery by Nida, please just put it in the comments below and I'll try and answer as much as possible. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry I've been away for nearly three years. Um, but yeah, hope you're all doing great. Cheers, guys. Bye.